FEI Icons is a six-part series looking back at the careers of some of the most successful and influential equestrian athletes of the 21st century. In this episode, we focus on the career of the most iconic name in the sport of carriage driving, Australian Boyd Excel. Absolutely unbelievable, chasing 272.88, he's there, he's in plenty of time. Fascinated by horses from the age of six, the five-time world champion's path to international sporting greatness began when a schoolteacher in his native Australia introduced him to a carriage-driving friend. His passion was cemented when he went on to win the Australian Pairs Championship at the age of 16. Moving to the United Kingdom in 1998 to develop this early talent, Boyd soon took the world of carriage driving by storm, demonstrating his natural ability and versatility by becoming the first athlete in the history of the sport to compete in three different world championships, horse singles, horse pairs and four in hand by the age of 27. The sport of four-in-hand carriage driving was traditionally an outdoor event over three phases, dressage, marathon and cones. But at the turn of the century, driving came indoors in a new thrilling format, the FEI World Cup driving. The big difference between indoor driving and outdoor driving is the intensity of an indoor performance in three minutes. You know, one small adjustment becomes a, a big mistake. You know, you get the domino effect very quickly with indoor driving. One of the most enjoyable things about outdoor driving is seeing the fruits of your training. You know, that you, when you've trained your horses, they performed how you expect them to outdoors. But you have three days to get a good performance. You know, if you're not happy with the dressage, the following day you can sort of have a, a second chance at doing a good marathon and if you're still not happy you have a third day to try to go home enjoying the truck ride home uh, with your animals. Success wasn't easy to come by in those early years of the World Cup as it was Germany's Michael Freund that was at the top of this new adrenaline fueled sport. Michael Freund was one of the um, uh, forefront drivers in the Indoor World Cup. You know, he used to do performances in Frankfurt and Stuttgart with Christoph Sandmann and other German drivers and that's really where the concept of indoor driving sort of uh, came from. And uh, it travelled to Sweden and uh, when Stockholm started and with Nicky Poulsen and Thomas Ericsson and then it progressed. So Michael Freund was ahead of the game on everybody and had a bit of a head start on what was required, the type of horses, but as ever, everybody quickly cottons on to what, who's winning and what they're using and what equipment, and uh, we all adapted and, and caught up. Boyd's first FEI World Cup title came in 2009 in Gothenburg, Sweden. Having sat in the shadows of legendary carriage driver, the five-time champion Michael Freund, Boyd would go on to win four titles back-to-back -back in emphatic style, breaking Freund's record before his run would end in 2013. Ten seconds, two gates, he can't afford to have anything down. Through the last gate. Boyd Axel follows up his victory from 2009. It's going to be close, yes. and he does it. Two twenty-five point zero five to Adam. He's coming to the gate with yeah. twenty seconds in hand. Boyd XL makes history in Bordeaux. One year after that first indoor title, Boyd and his team would travel to the FEI World Equestrian Games 2010 in Kentucky, USA. Having missed out on the Games in Arkham four years earlier after breaking his leg in a quad bike accident, this was the Australian's long-awaited chance at the World Equestrian Games title. 
But Boyd XL for Australia. Australia still looking for their first medal at the 2010 Alltech FEI World Equestrian Games. 62.33. That's the quickest time as he slides the carriage through Spooky Hollow. The pumpkins being cut out by a local school here in Lexington. 62.5. Clock starts. Going in canter. Quickest time through the spring, 68. 0.59 posted by Costa Ronda for the Netherlands. And he's through there. And just in time, keeping the gold medal, 3.52. He keeps the gold medal with only one and second in advance. When I walked the course this morning, I thought this course was for us because it was a course that I thought possibly it could be like the cross country, a touch easy, but it could show up problems somewhere. And, that, and so it was, a nice, it was a nice course to be in the lead on. Probably not a nice course if you're in second place. So at his third World Equestrian Games, he won his first World Championship title. XL made history that day as he had won Australia's first WEG gold medal since the game started back in 1990. He would also be named Equestrian Australia's International Athlete of the Year, an accolade that he would receive again in 2013. In 2012, the Australian title defender continued his success story at the FEI World 4 in Hand Driving Championship in Reisenbeck, claiming gold after very strong performances in all three phases of the competition. After his defeat in the 2013 FEI World Cup final to Costa Ronde, Boyd Excel would produce the ultimate comeback the following season, proving once again that he was the king of the Indoor World Cup. Off and running. Boyd, four-time FEI World Cup champion. You would have... Made it an unheralded five last year if he could have done it. Instead, he had to stand as runner-up to Custerand. He has no intention, if he has any control over it, of standing as runner-up to anyone this year. It's incredibly interesting talking to these drivers. They do so much performance analysis or video of their own and their competitors' rounds. And that is another thing why they have this big team of people with them. Reporting everything back, I thought I heard a little clock clock there, but everything seems to be in place. Still a zero on the scorecard for Boyd XL. The time to beat 273.56, he'll be massively in advance of that. The importance is how much of a challenge he can lay down for Daniel Schneiders. Coming around to the final line, four time champion, world champion, Boyd XL for Australia, 254.09. When you won a few times, it's nice to win again. When you don't have a win, you forget what the winning's like, so it's nice to win again. The next challenge was his title defence of the FEI World Equestrian Games 2014 in Normandy, France. Overnight silver medalist Boyd XL on the Alltech Bridge at three. A very quick entry. These horses are extremely nimble go around a corner really really quickly back into the water quickly round the box keeping very very tight there doing it as as quickly as possible and then a hard left around the box and straight down the hip down the slope to the gates, 
F. Very quick down there. This looks good. So Boyd. And here he is in the Land Rover obstacle number six, and he's just got stuck on a post. Oh dear. That will take some time away. It will take some time away, but a very quick recovery from the defending WEG and world champion. He's going for a very tight line, and uh, sadly it didn't come off. But he hasn't lost much time. He very quickly got himself back on the right road. This is a quick time. That is a quick time. 51-66, it is the second obstacle that Boyd XL is winning at the moment on course. Boyd winning obstacle one and obstacle seven. It's the third best marathon round, 90.32 for Boyd XL. Having led after the marathon, the individual title came down to the final phase, the cones. And with the USA's Chester Webber having driven clear, the Australian had to drive a faultless round to win individual gold. That was a good step over four to five. You can possibly hear Boyd talking to an individual horse at times. Very smooth, very fluent. Uh, the back of the carriage just swinging to the left. Boyd hey. XL is the world champion once again. Three in a row for the Australian driver. Boyd XL, the back-to-back -back Alltech FEI World Equestrian Games world champion. Four years after his first world championship gold, Boyd XL proved that he was still unbeatable with his third world title. Boyd XL, a 21st century equestrian icon, the Australian four-in-hand carriage driver had won three World Championship titles and six Indoor World Cup titles by 2015. Boyd's competitive spirit has shaped the sportsman he has become today. Celebrated with a string of accolades, including the best athlete at the 2015 FEI Awards in Puerto Rico. Quite humbled, really, because I mean, opposition like uh, William Fox Pitt and Charlotte Dujardin and Double Dum uh, for the best athlete. I mean, they're all super, super uh, Olympic disciplines. So for carriage driving, um, very proud. Following his relocation into the driving hotbed of the Netherlands, Boyd would take another three World Cup titles in the three years that followed, taking him to a record eight in total. He would also defend his World Championship title in Breda in 2016, winning his fourth gold medal, another record achievement in his incredible career. 2018, and off the back of his eighth World Cup final win in Bordeaux, Boyd and his team set their sights on the FEI World Equestrian Games that summer. Come to Bordeaux, you always want to finish the season as best you can, you know feels like a world championship in, a, in its sort of own. So as soon as I tend to get home from Bordeaux, I'm happy to sort of uh, put the indoor World Cup season on the shelf and start planning for the outdoor summer season. Our tactic was really to do not too many shows. We just planned to do four shows. Uh, we went uh, and did, competed at Royal Windsor as our first, second being driving Vulcan's Ward. Unfortunately, I then broke my ankle, which sort of put a bit of a pick up in the whole program, but we blundered on through Arken. Um, had a good show, really, for quite a few phases. Didn't finish exactly how I wanted it, but, you know, we were pleased with the horses. And then the fourth show being Tryon in, uh, in America. Representing his country is something that only happens at the World Championships. There will be no Olympic glory for this celebrated equestrian athlete. However, every four years, the equestrian world comes together for the FEI World Equestrian Games, and in 2018, they were in Tryon, North Carolina. Yeah, my, my team's super. The team of horses are super experienced and great 
condition and they're, they have huge movement and good expression. So as far as my team in the dressage, they're going to be hopefully deliver a good performance. And this is probably one of the best teams I've had in 20 years. Void XL for Australia. Overnight leader, now on the marathon course. Defending champion. Boyd, who did a brilliant dressage test yesterday, and the pressure on the horses and on the human bodies immense here. And we must remember that Boyd XL broke his ankle only seven weeks ago. You know, I think when they uh, take a close-up of Boyd's rein handling, you really can see how quick he is with his hands and how uh, determined he is with his loops. He's, he's such a beautiful driver to watch. XL has got to be 1 minute, 1.95 seconds at obstacle one. Australia not with a team. Hugh Scott Barrett, his regular backstepper. Almost home on day two of the FEI driving. This is a great hazard to really watch what, what makes Boyd such a great champion. Is he, you can see how he takes the bend of his leaders. Oh. You can see how he takes the bend of his leaders so he's telling them where to go and then he allows them to go and then he steers his wheelers. He can steer with his whip just by touching them uh, so he doesn't have to interfere with the leader's reins. He really keeps up good pace. 52.4 was the quickest time at, at eight and that was toast to Rond. Netherlands 56.17 for the reigning champion. Perfect form from the Australian. He's going to do this if he can just leave these final cones standing. The man from Vega in Australia has got 10 seconds now to come home. He's got that window as well to claim the individual gold medal. Just turn for home, Boyd Excel, and he's going to be just over the time. It does not matter a fig. Boyd Excel becomes the FEI World Equestrian Games driving individual champion once again. It's three on the bounce for this incredible Australian. If I look back, the, the most fantastic championship I've had was the World Championship in Breda. We won the dressage, we won the marathon, we won the cone driving. And this time we did a good dressage. I'm very pleased with that. Cross country, we had some uh, self sabotage home sort of adjustments on our carriage that didn't go to plan. And then, you know, I, I didn't drive particularly well on the marathon. So I was happy with the end result, but not thrilled about the performance. Cone driving again, um, we were second place in the cone, so I was very pleased with that. So, you know, for me, winning is one part of it, but also the performance involved in the championship because we we plan a year or two or four years ahead so um, yeah I, I like I'm not always about which place I come it's more about how was my performance through the weekend Boyd was not only competing as an individual at those games but training the USA's Misty Wrigley Miller as she and the USA team bid for a world title on home soil it was incredible you know, we thought the Americans had a good chance to be on the podium. If we could get Misty and Chester to deliver in the dressage, that gave them a good head start. And um, we needed then Jimmy and Chester's experience, you know, their 20, 30 year experience to come through on the cross country in cones. And it was quite important, tactically wise, that Misty completed the marathon. And so we chose routes accordingly um, to support her performance in the dressage. And, you know, she was the star pitcher in the program. It's a bit of a weird sensation because of Chester's one of my main rivals with Eyes Brand Shut On and a few other drivers. So, you know, to be 
a linchpin in helping Misty to help Team America and Chester get their team gold, which has been eluding them. They've had bronzes and silvers, but um, for team gold, it was fantastic. So I was over the moon. I was more pleased for Misty than I probably was for, my, for myself. In the indoor season that followed, Boyd XL was on target for a ninth FEI World Cup title. But there was a new kid on the block, the son of his longtime adversary ice brand, Bram Chardon. And he too had his eye on the title in just his second World Cup season. And so for only the third time in the 11 years since his first title, Boyd lost his defence of the World Cup. But Boyd and the experienced Team XL would regroup and once again challenge for a ninth title at the finals at Bordeaux in 2020. The indoor team is not just a team of five horses uh, and carriages and trucks, it's also a team of people. And uh, Hugh Scott Barrett, he has heightened senses on split times, on performances where people are losing or gaining times. He gives me that information while I'm going around. And Emma Olsen, you know, is from Sweden, she's my navigator and she's got a photographic memory. She can learn the course, walk the course once and then she's learnt it already. So she's vital to keeping me sort of on track. And um, then of course we have our backup team at home that give us information as well. My wife's very, she's on, she's on the money and she can say, you were late on your rain handling here or I thought that leader was a little bit off the pace or you know, are you sure you got the settings right on that? So the team of people, and of course, Granny Garnet, she's uh, 78, and uh, she's been with me for 25 years of um, every international competition. And your backup team is as important as your team of horses. The Bordeaux final was, as always, a hotly contested adrenaline fueled event. Holding a narrow lead after the first round over two-time World Cup champion ice brand Chardon and the 2013 champion Costa Ronde, the three would go head-to-head -head in the drive-off. And the time to beat of 275.07 was set by ice brand Chardon, who laid down his marker in the Parc de Exposition de Bordeaux. Coast was next, driving faster than Chardon, he took the lead, but with just one error in his round, he had left the door wide open to the eight-time champion. Oh, I saw a knockdown. Did I, or was it a ball? It may not have been a ball. If it wasn't a ball, it's not four penalties. He's still clear. It was just a white capping off one of the posts. Tension, pressure. Excitement here in Bordeaux. Now to the bridge. Scott Barrett again, working hard on the back, nudges the card over. Now into nine. 272.88, that's what he's chasing. It's easier to thread a needle with your eyes shut. Through the oxer. Now back through the obstacle. The shortcut to the bridge. XL. Oh! Slight miscommunication. Lost a second. Straight enough for the bridge. He's still clear. He's got brilliant correction. Brilliant correction from the former champion. Absolutely unbelievable. Chasing 272.88. He's there. He's in plenty of time. He's number one again. Boyd XL regains his title, he is the 2020 FBI Driving World Cup Champion. I think a bit more pressure on this one because uh, I've got the fastest team in the world and uh, last year we had the big mistake and um, had a few uh, worries, um, my wife and I. And uh, my daughter's in hospital, oh excuse me, so anyhow She's good, and uh, she wanted us to win, so I tried to do it for her, especially for her and my wife. So in what was clearly an emotional final, a ninth title was Boyd's, as the most celebrated four-in-hand driver held aloft the World Cup. 
Since 2010, Excel's record of 108 wins comes from 146 starts, a feat that seems impossible to match. Behind Boyd's success lies his genuine love of horses and a deep sense of connection with his animals. And it's this mutual understanding between XL and his horses that has made them a formidable partnership on the international carriage driving stage and truly an equestrian icon. Join us again soon when we will be reliving more memorable moments from some of the best equestrian athletes of the 21st century. From all of the team, it's goodbye for now.